Hello everyone, in this video, which is a part 3, and I'm going to discuss G Rho F. So G Rho F is equal to G and then function Fx. So now we are going to substitute the function Fx. So which is by referring to A x square minus 3x plus 3. Next, I'm going to substitute the function of fx into gx. So we will have 2 bracket x square minus 3x plus 3 plus 1. So expand the situation and then simplify. So we have 2x square minus 6x plus 6 plus 1. So finally, 2x squared minus 6x plus 7. So that will be our composite function g rho f. So since this is a quadratic function, so the domain for g rho f will be equals to negative infinity until infinity. And as we all know, the function for quadratic is not a one-to-one -one function. So now let's proceed with the part D. State the domain so that G rho f is one-to-one -one function. So as we all know, if you want to determine the one-to-one -one function for the quadratic situation, so you need to restrict the domain. So before we restrict the domain, you must express your quadratic function become a standard form. So now let's begin with the step 1, which is completing the square and convert the g rho f become the standard form. So g rho f is equal to 2x square minus 6x plus 7. So the step number one to completing the square is to factor out the two. So which is x square minus 3x plus 7 over 2. Next, 2 bracket x square minus 3x plus bracket square minus bracket square plus 7 over 2. So next, we're going to refer to negative 3x. So our answer will be negative 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2. So simplify. So we have 2 bracket x minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus 9 over 4 plus 7 over 2. Two. So now I'm going to focus on this part. So we have to equate the denominator. So x minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus 9 over 4 plus 14 over 4. So finally 2 bracket x minus 3 over 2 bracket square. minus 5 over 4 sorry it's a positive 5 over 4 so now finally we have 2 bracket x minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 5 over 2 so that would be the standard form for g rho f so as we all know the coefficient of the x is positive or 2. So a greater than 0, so our graph will be in u shape. So we have a minimum point. So the minimum point will be 3 over 2, 5 over 2. So previously we already mentioned 3 over 2 is the symmetrical axis 
and 5 over 2 will be our range. So for this case, in order to make the g rho f become one to one function, so the domain for the g rho f will be equals to 3 over 2 until positive infinity or negative infinity until 3 over 2. That will be the domain so that the zero f become one to one function. Regarding the range of zero f, the answer will be 5 over 2 until positive infinity because we have a minimum point and our range will be start from 5 over 2 until positive infinity. So here we are and thanks for watching.